It had read a member of Tigray Central Command in a briefing on Wednesday, said his government in its meeting with the special envoys had stressed on the need for a constitutional resolution to the issue of Western Tigray and said it was imperative for peace and stability, not only in the ongoing conflict, but for the future of the Ethiopian state. For us, it was a very productive meeting. We were able to explain uh, our position uh, candidly. And of course, uh, we have reason to believe that uh, we have been able to clear up some, some confusion in this regard. But the most important concern we told them is, unless the question of Western Tigra is resolved in a manner that, that restores the status quo, that restores administration, Tigray administration, that uh, chastises the Amhara authorities and the federal authorities and their Eritrean partners to undo what they have achieved by force. And then that would amount to writing a, prescri a prescription for national disintegration because to allow them to get away with Western Tigray is to encourage them to to go ahead with their uh, strident, extremist, nationalist, irredentist agenda. That would spell disaster to Ethiopia as we know it. So to the extent that the special envoys and the, the representatives of uh, these important countries are worried about the, the continuity of the, the Ethiopian state, uh, they should pay enough attention to what transpires in Western Tigray because whatever happens in Western Tigray will determine the fate of the country. Gitacho also discussed on the need to put in place a system that ensures the sustained delivery of humanitarian assistance into Tigray and said anything less would draw a false image of the situation on the ground. Humanitarian access issue is one area we discussed and of course we've explained to them that um, the international community is uh, giving the wrong signal to the authorities in Addis Ababa by praising them to the skies for improvement in humanitarian access. For one thing, humanitarian access, uh, hampering humanitarian access issue should be punished. It is a far cry from the kind of, the, 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 the kind of challenge that we are facing, but the fact that even 17 trucks after six months of obstruction have been allowed to cross the Tigray border simply becomes a very welcome news on the part of the international community. That's, that's a travesty because a government that should have been punished for not doing, for, for obstructing humanitarian access, which is an international crime, would be welcomed for relenting on its uh, chokehold simply because it has allowed 17 or 27 trucks. This is a travesty. Regarding the restoration of basic services, Kitacho said his government expected for services to be restored immediately after his government provided guarantee to the Ethiopian government and the international community to secure the safety of technicians to travel to the state to repair any damage. Now that people we respect, people who we take seriously, come here and ask us to, to give a written guarantee that we would cooperate with technical experts, Although we know this is one of the flimsiest excuses to come up with uh, for Abi's government to renege on its promise to restore services, we have, however, agreed uh, in the hope that uh, the UN, the US government, uh, and the European Union and other partners would, would help in monitoring the implementation of such a promise. Whether that happens uh, would remain to be seen, but it does require a huge amount of time or a huge amount of infrastructural adjustment to make it happen. If what they are saying is true, that they are not doing what they want to do to restore services because of lack of security guarantee, the fact that we have now offered security guarantee does require another week to, to ponder over. It does require another week to analyze. It is simply a statement of fact that we are furnishing evidence and our partners will be monitoring the process. And if they really have the best of intentions, no ifs, no buts, all they have to do is uh, carry out uh, the plan. We're ready to cooperate. Uh, humanitarian access, likewise.
Responding to reports of mass detention of Tigranes held in multiple internment camps across Ethiopia and if their release would be part of a negotiation process, Gitacho said the detention were crimes and that his government expected for their immediate and unconditional release. Uh, we're not going to make those things part of negotiations. They're downright crimes. Now, we're not going to negotiate over staff crimes. We, we continue to call upon authorities in Afar, authorities in, the, in Addis Ababa, to release Tigrans, including military personnel who served their, con their country with distinction. They are being detained indefinitely, not because they have committed any crime, but rather because they are from Tigray.